Hello and welcome back watch lovers. Today I'd like to talk to you about my daily driver that I've had for about 12 years or so. It's the Seiko SNL025 or to give it its marketing name the Seiko Arctura. The unusual feature about this watch is its oversized chronograph dial which takes centre stage with the time itself being relegated to a smaller subdial at the 6 o'clock position. You can liken it to the dashboard of a Porsche where the rev counter takes centre stage rather than a speedometer. I picked it up at a Seiko outlet in Florida in 2009 for a discounted price. I think I paid about $300 which is well under the full retail price of around $650. The reason it was discounted is because it has a slight defect. See if you can spot what it is. The defect from what I can see is that the seconds hand doesn't quite line up. But for the huge discount it was a small price to pay. It's quite a big watch by design measuring a little over 45mm in diameter if you include the crown. However it does feature sloping lugs meaning that it still wears comfortably on smaller wrists such as mine. The case and strap are made of brushed steel and it has two polished steel plungers for the chronograph operation and a polished steel crown. The dial itself is described as being grey and silver although the grey part can sometimes look navy under some light conditions. One of the best features for this watch is the sapphire crystal which sits flush on the face. It's one of the toughest crystals I've seen on a watch and is still in perfect condition even after all those years of wear. This was a design change from the first generation of Seiko Arctura which featured a dome crystal and was more prone to scratches. The first plunger activates the chronograph and sets the chronograph hand running. It's powered by a high frequency stepper motor running at one fifth of a second to every beat. Pressing the plunger again stops the chronograph and the second plunger makes the chronograph hands fly back to the zero position. I was wondering if this makes it qualify as a Mecha Quartz watch because this is supposedly one of the features for a Mecha Quartz watch and I'd love to hear from you if you'd know. Under the hood the watch is powered by the Kinetic 7L22 movement. For those that don't know Seiko invented the Kinetic movement in a bid to be environmentally friendly way back in the 1980s. They noticed that the batteries of quartz watches typically only lasted for a year or so at that time before having to be disposed of. They came up with a design that used a long life capacitor that could be charged up by a rotor much like the rotor in an automatic watch that would charge up a spring. The capacitor could hold several months worth of charge before it needed recharging by simply wearing the watch and it had a lifespan of over 10 years. When it was new this watch would hold about 5 months worth of charge. This does deplete over time but even on the original capacitor I can still get about a week's worth of power reserve which is not bad considering this watch was manufactured in 2005 and has never been serviced. As for the accuracy it is very accurate and I've never had to adjust it apart from the usual changes between summer and winter time. You can still buy new Seiko watches with the kinetic movement but Seiko seems to be only using them in their premier range which are a dress watch lineup and aren't really to my taste. So I'm not sure if they're on their way to phasing out this technology in favour of the new spring drive movement. In conclusion I can confirm at least in my case that the kinetic movement is a solid performer and it would be a shame if it was being phased out. Thank you for watching folks, please subscribe to keep updated for the latest content and see you next time.